everyone. My name is Sabrina and I'm the LP Now program coordinator. So we are gathering today to celebrate a whole month of programming that we hope helped you learn more about gratitude, its power in peacemaking. That's the theme of the month. These month's projects are the mega big list and the booklet reflections, both of which are on the calendar of the Alpina website. I am going to show you later. So you can share with us your list of gratitude and we will add it to the big list that we are building this month. So now I'm going to share with you my screen, show you the website, explain how to sign up, how to find events, links, and program descriptions. Later, we will have Reverend Rosemary Hyde sharing about the vision and mission of Living Peace Now and talking about gratitude, the theme of this month. After Rose, Reverend Rosemary, uh, we will share with you some illustrations about gratitude drawn by Ms. Nesreen Karasani to come all together to the theme, I mean, to bring us all together to the subject matter. In this first part, we will also listen to a performance on the oud, that Eastern instrument from like, Eastern part of the world, Turkey also, and uh, performed by Mr. Atesh Hassan, who is going to express his gratitude through this music. Okay, so allow me to share my screen. Uh, so this is the Elpina website that you are seeing. This is the homepage. The global gratitude list I was speaking about is just in here. So as soon as I receive your personal list, I'm going to add to the big list and we are planning on having a mega big gratitude list by the end of the month. So you will have a video here that you can watch if you are seeking to build peace in the world. So I recommend you to watch it. Then this is the tab calendar. Under the tab calendar, you are going to find items. So this is the whole programming of the month. Half of it has been done. This is, uh, for example, after tomorrow, practice gratitude with Emily Gabrion. So you go under this item, you are going to find a definition, description of the, uh, of the program and some more about the guy, that's Emily Gabrin in here. If you are looking for links, you can find them under the forum tabs. Some forums are for public and some of them are under membership. Something important is if you wanna be with us, if you wanna join the community, you, are, you will have to register as a first step. So your registration is a two or one step registration, just you click in here and you have to fill in your personal information and you will be member of the Living Peace Now community. So that, now I'm that's for safety for everybody. Yeah. So we don't get bombed, <laughs> Zoom bombed. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to give now word uh, to Reverend Rosemary and we will carry on. Thank you. Okay. So this month we're thinking about gratitude and talking about it and experiencing it. Like on the site, one of the forums is by Lizzie and she does drawings and photographs and, you know, reflections. So she gave us a reflection about um, she had just Somebody had just done her a little favor. Somebody had bought her something or done something very small that was nice. And they're called random acts of kindness. It's great fun. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. And you can do it with your family. You can also do it with people you've never seen before. And that's kind of when it's really fun because people are pleasantly surprised if you buy their coffee, if they're behind you in the, in the line in the cafe, for instance, or, you know, just, just a, a little thing. Um, it's kind of fun to do. And it reminds us to be grateful that we have a lot of things to be grateful for. Another aspect, we started out talking about the magic of gratitude 
And when you're grateful for everything you can think of in your life, you can't contain it all. And you just become more and more aware of things you never really thought about. But yeah, they're wonderful. So it's a practice that, I mean, a lot. I know a lot of people now that we've discovered this who start out the day by a couple of minutes of just, what am I grateful for right now when they wake up? And it's a great way to start the day off because it makes you feel good. The funny thing about the human brain is we are incapable of thinking two different thoughts in the same moment. And I defy you, if you are feeling sad or angry, if you can smile, you can't smile and keep feeling bad. It just can't be done. It's an interesting experiment. But there's something about engaging these muscles that means you can't keep being angry or depressed. It's really interesting to realize that, to experience it. So I am really grateful for everyone who is here right now in this moment to play with us, to enjoy with us, sharing thoughts and feelings and music and poetry and drawings and the game of listing all the things we can think of that we're grateful for as we smile bigger and bigger. So thank you very much, all of you, for coming right now. Thank you. Thank you. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to share my screen again and show you the illustration of Miss Krasny. And she's going to say her word or what inspired her into drawing those beautiful uh, drawings and paintings. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, Nisreen, do you hear us? Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. So, um, her paintings are in three languages because she's working on Spanish. She speaks Arabic, French, and English. So, she made it in three languages. Can you, uh, Nisreen, say a word about your paintings that are yeah, showing up on my screen? Yeah, of course. So, um, so, hello, I'm Nisreen, uh, I'm from Algeria, uh, and um, this drawing represents gratitude. It means for me, and uh, I, hope you, ho I hope that you uh, think the same, that uh, to be grateful, it's the, uh, the power of being, con uh, how to say it, conscient? Conscious. Conscious, that what we have, actually, it's not something that it will be uh, forever. So we have to be grateful for every uh, thing that we have, every moment that we pass in our life. But because uh, one day, this moment, this thing that we have, it can be lost. And uh, every, every single detail can be something uh, that we can lose. lose. For example, uh, I don't know um, how to say it. Vue, la vue? Sight. Les cinq sens? Vision, yeah. Vision. Sight, vision. Yeah, vision, sight. Every, every, the, 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 uh, for, for some people, it's so, uh, this thing, they, they, they are, this thing, they are uh, some, uh, how to say it, uh, normal, but it's not. It's yeah. something that we can lose. And uh, we have to be grateful that we have side that we can speak, that we can hear, that we can smell and everything. Thank so yeah, we have to be okay. grateful so for every single day. Sorry, yes. This is your sentence. Can you read it, please? What you have 
written in here? Estar agra uh, agradecido es ser consciente de lo que tenemos no es algo adquirido y tenemos que valorar cada momento de felicidad que recibimos. Okay, thank you. That's in English. Uh, to be thankful is to be conscious that we don't, uh, nothing will last forever in this life uh, and that we should value every moment that we can have in life. Thank you so much, Nesrin. Thank you. Okay. Um, so uh, now we give word to uh, Mr. Atesh. He's going to play his, um, his song on, on the instrument called Oud. Yeah, hi. Actually, the instrument which I have, it is an extended and enhanced version of Oud. It is manufactured in Canada by uh, the company Godin. Uh, so I will play uh, one piece. Its name is Ferah Feza. Uh, the first time I hear about gratitude, I just remember about this specific piece. Uh, and I would like to um, perform it for everything which exists in my life. Uh, the gratitude feeling which I feel uh, for which I feel like to be grateful for uh, in my life. So I can start playing Rosemary if, if you don't have anything to say before I start. Or I don't know what is the plan. I can just start playing if it is the plan. Yes, it's your turn. You can start. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you in advance for listening. Sound coming clearly. Is that an issue? Okay. Fine. There is no issue. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
accustomed with this because you're living in Turkey so you and uh, and our like you know you know this instrument right of course uh, yeah. unfortunately nowadays we have no chance maybe to listen more and more for this kind of music instruments uh, here in Istanbul I live in Istanbul by the way oh. here in Istanbul yeah we have a lot of places that can play or can listen to this kind of instruments Good. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, because, you know, of coronavirus, uh, we can't go outside maybe to listen to this kind. Thank you so much, Mr. Hassan, also. Yes, thank, thank, thank you very listening. much. That was beautiful. Yes, thank, thank you, so you for sharing with us. Okay. Thank you to, well, for listening. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for me also, it was really big fun. I enjoyed it. So did we. There you go. Yeah. So it was shared. Exactly. We should move on. So now we are going to start the introductions and we will be sharing about gratitude. Uh, I would like to ask you kindly to introduce yourself, share your experience if you have any, when gratitude helped you go through difficulties. How did, uh, how did it promote the art of peacemaking within your personal life or within your community, like people around you. Um, yeah, and what did it add to your spiritual life? Why not? So everyone is gonna have from one to two minutes speaking. You can start if you would like to add something, Rosemary. If not, this is the order of speaking. So okay. after you, Rosemary, there will be Nariman Slaim uh, reading a, a word that she had wrote specially for this event. Then there will be uh, Mrs. Hedia Hedidua, Hedid Hadidusha, uh, yeah, from Canada. No, that, that's a nickname. It's Hadia Saidani. Saidani, I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what we see under you yeah. on the screen. Oh, that's my nickname again. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I've, tr I've tried to... I've, I've tried to explain. I don't know why it appears. I, I registered as Hadia Saidani. I don't know. Maybe I did a mistake. It's my Whatever. grandmother's, by the way. Ah. Hadja, you will be performing a spiritual song, and I'm very excited listening to you. I, uh, Hadja is, um, I already had the chance to listen to some of her performances, and I am glad that you are going to today to listen to one of her performances. Uh, the name of the, of the song is Ave Maria. And later, I mean, after Hadja, there will be If our guide from Spain comes, there will be Mojo speaking, and that's all. And then later, there will be um, some questions, space for you to ask questions and to give comments from you, from attendees. And then I will again put the website under your site, and uh, Rosemary is going to say a prayer so that we are going to end up like, to end like this. Are we going to have a chance to make a list? Yeah, sure. Whenever I mean, after someone, after everyone are going to uh, perform or give a word, that's their chance to give the list of gratitude. Like okay, do. okay. So, so, do you start, Rosemary, or do you give words to Nariman? I'll go. I'll go last. Okay. Okay. So, Nariman, are you still here with us? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. 
So while she'll be reading her word, that's going to be in French, I'm going to share with you my screen and the translation in English will appear for people who are English speaking. Should I start? Just then? give me a second. Okay. Whenever I show. Do you see my screen? No. Now? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Maria. Okay. Alors, la gratitude est un sentiment positif qui a pour but l'éveil de la conscience. C'est-à-dire, quand une personne nous, nous aide à surmonter un obstacle ou, ou bien de régler nos problèmes, nous rend heureux, car nous étions sous pression et nous nous sommes débarrassés de toute déception, de toute tristesse dans lesquelles nous étions coincés. En effet, cette faveur que ce bienfaiteur a, a parvenu nous a automatiquement rendu reconnaissants. Et bien évidemment, il y a une immense divergence entre la gratitude et l'endettement, qui est l'obligation, autrement dit la contrainte. Quand nous, quand nous sentons la gratitude, quand nous sommes reconnaissants, nous pouvons remercier le bienfaiteur. Nous pouvons le remercier en lui offrant un cadeau symbolique qui vient du cœur. Mais nous, ne sommes, nous euh, ne sommes pas obligés de le faire. En revanche, l'endettement veut dire que nous sommes obligés de rendre la faveur déjà servie dans un délai précis. Donc, nous pouvons dire que la gratitude joue un rôle très important dans la vie quotidienne, voire dans l'aspect psychologique de l'être humain. Voilà, merci. C'est très beau. Merci. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. That's a good reflection. We will be very happy to put it into the booklet on gratitude. Thank, Thank you. you. Sabrina? Sorry, I was muted. So, word goes to you, uh, Hedia, for your performance. Okay, <clears throat> can I say a few words uh, before? Okay, excellent. Um, first of all, thank you for inviting me. Uh, I, I was very, very flattered when uh, Sabrina uh, invited me and told me that you would be very welcome to participate in our uh, festival. And it was about gratitude, uh, gratitude sorry. So. Thank you again. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone, uh, for inviting me and accepting me to be here and to, to perform for you. And to be, uh, and I, I would like to share, I am grateful for many things in life, uh, as everyone among us, I, I hope, as everyone among us. But the thing that I'm grateful the most for is, is the fact that I had the chance to meet people from all over the world. I did not travel a lot. That's not the thing. It's because I lived in two countries where it was uh, a multicultural country. So the first one was, well, I was born in Algeria and then I moved in Qatar in 2003, I was 16. And by then I, I didn't meet much uh, pe people from all around the world. It was mostly Algerians, maybe Tunisians, some French because I used to travel to France and England. But when I went to Qatar, I met people from all over the world. And uh, I participated in uh, festivals uh, about um, like ethnicity, but where we where we um, celebrated ethnicity and it, its and the cultures. Wow. And by doing by by meeting those people and uh, learning about their cultures, it helped me to be more tolerant. I was not tolerant. I, I discovered mm -hmm. I was not. I thought I was, but 
But to be honest, I was not. I was young, maybe, yeah, I was a teenager. Uh, but meeting people helped me to be more tolerant, and I cannot be more grateful than that for... Um, wow. And the second thing, I would join uh, Nasirin, which, uh, Nasirin, what she said, I'm very um, grateful to be healthy, especially with what's happening in the world. Okay, now I'm going to, to perform a, a prayer. It's a Christian prayer. It's Ave Maria. So the prayer is for um, the Virgin Mary. Uh, I hope you would like it. Unfortunately, I cannot play it on my guitar. I'm, I'm a beginner in the guitar, so I'm going to put like an instrumental. I hope it would sound nice. So here it goes. I'm sure it will. Thank you. Thank you again for listening to me. Tell me if the sound comes right. Excellent. Why it ended like this, but I, I hope you liked well, it. I, thank you so much. It was thank beautiful. You. It was awesome. Thank you. It was awesome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Where Where are you living in Canada, Hidya? I'm, I'm close to Montreal. Ah, okay. I'm uh, in, the, um, uh, in Quebec, which is the east coast of uh, Canada. Right. Uh, right. Not really the east coast, but it's very close to New York, for example. Wait. Oui. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Again. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. It was really great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It was nice, really. So uh, now I would like to give you a chance uh, to give us, to tell us your list of gratitude. Uh, and we will be adding up to the mega big list. So everyone is going to have uh, like a minute to say what he or she is grateful for. Sorry for someone who are going to repeat themselves, but just to have the record, record of this. We cannot hear you, Sabrina. Oh. Yeah, uh, now, well, now we can. Okay, good. So I said uh, we are going to have like a, each a moment, a minute, to say his list of gratitude. And then I'm going to add this to the mega big list and post it on the website. So. Um, Everyone no restrictions, you can just start. Okay, I'd like to hear 
from uh, and a little introduction, you know, where they are, who they are, from Wasim and Lorraine and Mo. So they're part of the community space. Yeah, that's right. Sava? We can start? I can start or what? Should I wait or what? Assume you can start. You can start with introducing yourself and then giving your list yeah, of I'm good. Yeah, this is Wasim Abdul Baki. I'm Syrian and I'm 33 years old. Uh, I've been here living in Istanbul for six years. And uh, I'm now I'm a payroll specialist. Uh, I was an English teacher, but now I'm, I'm working as payroll specialist here in Istanbul in a company. And it was so good to join you. This is about maybe a little bit about my life. Uh, about a graduate, you know, this is, is something we can call it. We have a lot of things maybe uh, to thank in this life. We started from God and going to our maybe parents, our family, we speak about it. We speak about every maybe, how I can say it, every side in your life or every, every person, uh, how I can say, rules or play a role in your life. Even, for example, a bad person, because uh, they said maybe the gratitude is more, how I can say it is, in my opinion, it's more important in difficult or in difficulties more than ever. So because maybe you can, how we can say it, uh, you can learn a lot of things and really it will be so good. You can, you know, regulate your emotions and you can go forward and you can, for example, here do a lot of things in maybe in, in the future. Uh, I would like also to, if we need to summarize it, we can summarize it in one word. Thank you that it's the word that we can use it everywhere and every single morning. We can say it for every single person we meet in our day, starting how I can say from a person that you meet it in the early morning and finishes with the last one that you can meet in the late evening. So that's all. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thank you also for you. Okay. Bonjour. Like mm -hmm. on, prend, on, on vous prend du bain, direct. Ah oui, carrément. Et euh, qu'est-ce que je, que je, je me présente, c'est ça Oui. Oui, un peu ça. Et puis, euh, dis-nous une ou deux choses importantes pour lesquelles tu es... Tu, tu es reconnaissant. Oui, oui, reconnaissant, merci. Reconnaissant, oui. Okay. Bon, qu'est-ce que moi je suis euh, comment on va dire psychomagicien. J'ai travaillé euh, fondateur d'un du, concept qui s'appelle le théâtre de la conscience. Et puis j'accompagne euh, des gens euh, pour les aider à, à trouver euh, leur chemin et à sortir de leur souffrance avec euh, humilité parce que c'est un peu compliqué de dire qu'on peut aider quelqu'un à sortir sa souffrance. Euh, tu veux traduire, Sabrina, déjà Oui. On ne t'entend puis... pas, tu as le micro coupé. Sorry, yeah, I, I just forgot myself. So, um, I live in Spain and I am a psycho... I don't know how to say that. It, does it exist in English? Like, psychomagicien. Um, how do we say this, Rosemary? Could you help me <laughs> we just it is it doesn't exist in English. I think it's a a new word in French. We can a invite it, invent it. Yes, a psycho magician. Hey, why not? Why not? Okay. Yeah. So mainly or basically, uh, it, how it is they use the theater, uh, like the usage of theater to um, to to play roles and help people get off their suffering, help them find their light, their ways. And uh, yeah, so that's mainly what Moju does in his teaching. So he is a guide, a teacher, using this method uh, to help you get out of the suffering. Okay, uh, tu continues? Ouais, voilà. Donc, euh, toujours avec, euh, euh, avec, euh, 
avec humilité, parce que tu ne peux pas aider quelqu'un si la personne déjà n'est pas prête à s'aider elle-même. C'est la base même de, du travail, parce que beaucoup veulent vivre dans le bonheur, la joie et, et tout ça, mais en vérité, ils ne sont pas prêts à faire ce qu'il faut pour vivre dans cet état-là. Ils veulent avoir la même vie, sans rien changer, mais en ajoutant du bonheur, de la joie, de l'amour. Et ça, ce n'est pas possible. Ok, so this is going to happen when you are ready to, uh, to work on yourself because most of people they are expecting having like happiness, adding happiness to their actual life. They don't want to change anything. They just want to keep everything as it is, but they want to add uh, like vex of, of happiness and, uh, and, I, and uh, yeah, so this is not going to happen. It should come from you. You should help the guy doing this. Mm -hmm. Donc, on va dire que moi, je les accompagne sur, euh, pour leur montrer ce qu'ils sont prêts à voir. Le reste, ça dépend que d'eux. Donc, je les aide à voir ce qu'ils sont prêts à voir, mais c'est aussi, ça dépend sur eux. Pourquoi je suis reconnaissant Oui. Euh, pour plein de choses. Oui. Pour trouver deux choses, c'est... <rire> C'est compliqué, il y a tellement de choses pourquoi je suis reconnaissant. Exactement. <rire> je suis reconnaissant parce que d'abord parce que euh, d'abord parce que je suis en bonne santé. Ça c'est très important. Parce que si je n'avais pas la santé, j'aurais certainement pas la joie, j'aurais pas l'envie, j'aurais pas le désir, je serais focus sur la santé. Et je pense que c'est le point de départ pour moi. S'il n'y a pas ça, tu peux rien vivre. First of all, uh, I cannot be thankful for all, all, only two things, but I, I'm thankful for a multitude of things. So first of all, health, because if I didn't health, I wouldn't be seeking desire or pleasure. I, I, I wouldn't be seeking life. You know, the physical life is, is something that, so health is very important to be grateful for. Je suis reconnaissant aussi pour <coughs> toutes les belles choses que j'ai vécues jusqu'à présent et ce que je vais vivre. Il va y en avoir plein. Mais euh, surtout, elle, et aussi les difficultés par lesquelles je suis passé, les souffrances, qui m'ont permis de grandir et de comprendre plus facilement l'autre. Parce qu'on ne peut pas apprendre à connaître l'autre à l'université. Il faut avoir traversé un chemin. Il faut avoir vécu des choses pour pouvoir vraiment utiliser l'empathie. Sinon, ce n'est pas de l'empathie. C'est juste une, une forme d'acceptation. Mais il n'y a pas de vraiment quelque chose qui nous unit. Okay. So, second of all, I am thankful for all the be beautiful things that I had lived and that I'm going to live in the future. And I'm sure I'm going to live more beautiful things. Uh, as well as I'm thankful for all the suffering, difficult moments that I have been through and that allowed me to grow and to be stronger and to be more uh, accepting of, other, of, 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 of others because you're not going to be um, accepting and you're not going to um, la love or be uh, uh, pathetic with someone at university. It's later when you go through life when you go through experiences, that you are going to be able to do that and to live this and to feel it. Et la dernière chose, parce qu'il y a plein, mais bon, je voudrais aussi euh, remercier, euh, on va dire, euh, je suis reconnaissant à, à mon âme d'être venu s'incarner dans ce corps, dans cette époque, parce que j'ai vécu des choses jusqu'à présent magnifiques. J'ai connu le passage d'un siècle à un autre, le passage d'un millénaire à un autre. J'ai connu le calendrier, la fin du calendrier maya. J'ai connu des, des choses extraordinaires, un virus qui n'existait pas. Il y a, jamais on avait confiné la Terre depuis l'existence, depuis la création. Et il y a des choses que... Donc je remercie à mon âme d'avoir choisi cette période de l'histoire du monde pour venir ici, pour me faire vivre autant de choses, ça, c'est pour moi une grande reconnaissance que j'ai. Ok, and third of all, least and not last, because there, there should be uh, many things uh, I am thankful for, but I am also thankful for my soul to be incarnated in this body that allowed me to live such wonderful things, things that, uh, like, for example, the passage 
from a century to another, from a millennium to another, I witnessed uh, this world um, challenging a virus, a very powerful virus that is uh, curfewing us and uh, lockdowning us. Uh, and yeah, such like, like new experiences that he is grateful for, all what we, we are experiencing in here all together. <laughs> Merci, thank you. Alors, just une chose. Je ne, peux, je ne pourrais pas rester trop longtemps. Je suis venu parce que c'était vraiment important, parce que je viens de finir un, un cours de deux heures, mais je vous expliquerai. Et je suis vraiment, je dois me déconnecter. Donc, je vais rester encore cinq minutes et je vous quitterai, d'accord Ok. Uh, we do have, uh, we, like, we do have ten minutes and we, we are closing up. Like, uh, encore dix minutes et on va finir la réunion. Ah, ok, ok, d'accord. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. else... Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is there someone who, is, who wants to share with us his list of gratitude? I can go again. Okay. <laughs> uh, as uh, I haven't uh, presented myself as a, I just said what I, uh, what I was from and what I, I'm living right now. Uh, I'm actually um, a technician in architecture, but um, I work mostly with permeability, you know, roofing and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I, I've chosen architecture because I love beautiful things. And I love, um, and architecture is a, is a, comment dire, une empreinte? Uh, a print, oh no. A footprint. A footprint, thank you. Architecture is a footprint of what a, a man or a woman can accomplish. I mean, it stays, uh, it stays all over uh, centuries. And we can, just by having those, uh, those dwellings, those ruins, we can learn from an ancient uh, civilization. And we should be grateful to them. I mean... They left us like history. They left us a footprint so we could learn more about ourselves by learning more about them. And um, so I'm, I'm grateful that I, I, I was able to see um, this as, to understand this this way as a beauty, as, um, as, um, as um, something we could learn from. Uh, as I said earlier, the second point would be uh, that I would, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful to the, all the people I have met in my life, including you guys, uh, because it helped me to know more about the human being uh, uh, as, uh, and knowing that the human being is just one race. It's the human being and there are ethnicities and cultures that once they were like maybe different or the same. And maybe we came like from, uh, how can I say that, a minority that it has uh, it got it has gotten bigger uh, over time so i learned to accept and to love the others the difference even though i always see similarities in every culture i don't know for you but let but uh, i would say that uh, i i'm thankful that i have learned to be um, tolerant uh, uh, toward these uh, cultures and the uh, religion if you want or even opinions when even I'm not I do not agree with opinion I, I learned to accept the other's opinion and th this as uh, Mo said is is something we learn over time we cannot learn this in books so I, I'm very thankful to have the chance to meet these people other people live like all their life in a in a village and yet they can be tolerant yet they can be tolerant. So I'm grateful to this. As I said earlier, also, I'm thankful to be healthy. And it's the case of everyone. And I, as Mo said, if we cannot be healthy, it would be, I wouldn't say totally impossible because I've seen sick people being happy because they, they were convinced with they had. They, they were grateful because their family was happy, for example. It's another level, <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's important to be healthy. It, uh, it allows us to, to, to be free in a way, free to, to go out, to go in the forest and enjoy the nature that, uh, that is here for us. And with the last thing, but not least, I'm grateful for, uh, for having a family, for having sisters and brothers and friends, because I consider friends as a family. 
and for mm -hmm. having and even for the, the people who hurt me because they allowed me to to discover a part of myself because mm -hmm. if we're not hurt we won't be able to to understand ourselves because i've always thought that it's an opinion i'm sure that people won't agree with me but i've always thought that we do not change but we discover ourselves it's just parts that we don't know that are hidden here and through experiences bad and good and good experiences they open up this hidden part of us so mm -hmm. it allows us to discover ourselves and we think that it's a change so i'm thankful to mm -hmm. everyone who hurt me who loved me and the ones who are going to love me and hurt me that's life thank you thank you <laughs> Lorraine, could you go next? Uh, yes, and speaking of nature, I'm outside. It's a gorgeous 70 degree day here. I live near Rosemary here in North Carolina. <laughs> and um, my background with what I do is um, start out basically energy healing, a variety of those types of things, and uh, Dr. Milton Traeger's body work approach. And also more recently, um, trained in teaching heart math institutes techniques to support social coherence, well-being individually and collectively. So, um, yes, I love the subject of gratitude. I just like everyone else has said, start the day, end the day with it. And uh, the two things I'll share in this moment, of course, grateful for everything, but uh, what came to mind a moment ago was, I don't know if other countries know about Mr. Rogers, you know, that, uh, TV show years ago with kids. Anyway, he gave a speech at um, a college and he asked everybody to remember someone in their lives that really made a difference, said something kind to them or supported them at a time when they needed it. And um, that was very moving because what came to mind for me were especially two teachers I had along the way when I was really doubting that I could do this, that, or the other. And they were very encouraging and supportive and said I was ready. And that made a big difference in moving forward with the work I do. So I'm really grateful for those uh, teachers. And then um, I'm grateful that I just discovered a um, holistic animal product site that looks fabulous <laughs> to support any pets we have. And then lastly, what I'll say is what came to mind too is Meister Eckhart, who, I don't know what century he was, 12th, 13th century, 13th, 13th, 13th century. Yes. And what he said, which I'll close with is, if the only prayer you ever said was thank you, that would be enough or that would be sufficient. Something along those lines. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm just, I'm mostly grateful for being able to feel the light within me and within others and for the beauty of nature on this gorgeous day. And for all of you, thank you for your beautiful sharings. <laughs> thank you very much, Lorraine. Has, we, I, has everybody who wants to say something said something? Yeah. What? She, she wants to say something. Ah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Alors, je, suis, je serai toujours reconnaissante à moi-même et je me remercie pour, euh, enfin, car j'ai su, j'ai pu plutôt euh, me défier, euh, j'ai pu surmonter plein de choses, plein d'obstacles dans ma vie, euh, j'ai... Euh, J'avais euh, de l'expérience, comme, comme on dit, et euh, enfin, la mauvaise fréquentation, ce n'est pas vraiment une fréquentation, euh, genre euh, la drogue, etc., non plus. Euh, la mauvaise fréquentation, ce sont les, les gens qui nous exploitent. Je parle de ça. Donc... Euh, Voilà, je me remercie euh, car j'ai su me relever sur mes pieds. So, uh, first of all, I, I'm thankful for myself and then you too and I, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'm thankful for myself, thankful for the, 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 uh, um, 
the person I am because I could go through a lot. I made it to this point in my life. I am thankful because I had some bad experience in the past. Some people who had been explo exploiting me or exploiting things, but I overcame it and I am stronger. And that's what Nariman said. So she is thankful for being strong for herself, bringing herself to the Nariman of today. I am grateful for and with all of you for being here, for sharing your gratefulness. I've taken notes. <coughs> which I will send to Sabrina, <coughs> excuse me, to post on the website. <coughs> and I look forward. I'm going to ask you all during this next week to write down something about being grateful, your experience, just a little, not more than, 150 words and send it mm. to us, send it to Sabrina so that we can put together your thoughts in our book for November to share our thoughts of gratitude with others because it's fun to do things with others. It's fun to share and to communicate. It makes our hearts happy and makes us feel joy. And boy, I'm grateful for that opportunity. And thanks to all of you. And um, I get, I, I really appreciate getting to know each one of you a little bit. And I look forward to participating next week, perhaps, as we share the booklet as it's coming together or in another uh, event. Come join us. Have fun. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Rosemary, for your word. Uh, you have the right for questions or comments, whatever you want, before closing this meeting. So if you do have any question or at the moment, just feel free to ask. Okay. Thank you. It was more than fun, really, listening to your performances, sharing your life experiences, your cultural background your diversity, everything that has been shared here is just wonderful. Thank you for each and every one of you to make it happen. I would like to say, uh, to let Rose, give word to Rosemary to end up the meeting. And I hope, I look forward to meeting you in another meeting.